Hello and welcome to a new episode of, uh, of our pets video series. Today we'll talk about the importance of vaccination and deworming of adult dogs. And we'll discuss this in detail with Dr. Uh, Shiad. Uh, hello, doctor. Hello, hello. Um, as a doctor, you definitely know that not all pet parents are actually aware of the importance of uh, okay. vaccination okay. and deworming. Yeah. So, um, just as to start with, please explain to us the importance of these two lot of people ignore this vaccination actually because uh, they are not aware of the importance actually. Okay. So in general if you see like vaccinations are main, like it covers a lot of diseases mm -hmm. which doesn't have treatment. Okay. So it covers those diseases which doesn't have treatment and it's a prevention. Which are, so, yeah, yeah, which are very hard to treat. Okay. So, so it, uh, because of that it's very important to uh, vaccinate your dogs mm -hmm. and as well as like the deworming mm -hmm that is very important for the health of the dog because you know as such like parasites it can cause a lot of problems mm -hmm. so a um, lot of people tend to ignore it mm -hmm. and what I've seen is most of the time people, some people like they say my dog doesn't go out much yeah. so I don't generally deworm but they tend to ignore a lot of things actually so pets not you must have seen pets they come lick your uh, paws like means the slippers all those things yeah shoes and all so that's where they get, even there also they get the parasites actually. They okay. tend to ingest the eggs. So which generally people don't uh, think about it. Oh, they so they tend to, yeah, dogs. yeah, yeah. On, no, not only on walks, actually if the other pet is, yeah, 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 even from other dogs yeah. they get. If, but if the dog is like indoors, they sometimes people say, I've seen, like when I, I ask uh -huh. them, okay, do you deworm your pets? No, no, I generally don't do it because uh, uh, it's totally indoors. <laughs> so indoors means they, they think that they don't get uh, uh, worms and like they don't get invested. But actually they, from their slippers itself, yeah. they can get it. Exactly. So that's why it's very important actually. What I would recommend is like uh, every uh, three months, mm -hmm. they should uh, at least deworm their pets. So a Nadal dog should yeah. be dewormed every three, yeah, every three, three, every every three, three months. months? Three to four months. Three to four months. Again, depends on like, like uh, if, if they take their pet out for walks and all regularly, mm -hmm. then they should do the... Uh, deworming as well. Uh, is it right. any connection between uh, vaccination and uh, deworming? Uh, vaccination and deworming is like generally it's done together. Together? Yeah, together. Why? Uh, because uh, like as a routine visit we can do it together and mm -hmm. no harm in doing together. Mm -hmm. Also it's generally given together though the vaccine takes some time to kick in. Yes, exactly. So by the yeah. time the uh, deworming medication mm -hmm. will act and it, it won't cause any problem as well and it is better to do it that way. So if the dog has any parasites? Yeah, yeah, it'll, they'll be clear of all the yeah. parasites by then. Yeah, he takes them out before uh, yeah, the vaccination, the vaccination yeah. kicks in. So though we give it together, the action is faster in deworming the medication. The vaccine to kick in, it takes some time. Okay. So that's one thing. And another thing is, uh, what I've seen is, like these are few questions generally yeah, what we yeah, face. Exactly. So people generally ask like, okay, do we, do we really need to deworm uh, like uh, 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 along with the vaccination or mm -hmm. later we should do it? Mm -hmm. And will there be any diarrhea, all those things? Okay. So generally most of the uh, medication doesn't cause any sort of diarrhea and things. Okay. Nowadays it's all advanced medicines and it's a combination. Earlier it used to cause diarrhea, very bad diarrhea. Mm -hmm. But now I, uh, like uh, whatever medication we use, they're all safe. Generally like it's very safe. So it's better they do it along with the vaccination and uh, there are no issues connected to it. Dr. Shia, that brings me to my next question. Are there any side effects to deworming? No, no. Generally, no side effects at all. Actually, um, very rarely we see like any, like any person can have uh, an, al allergy an allergy to some drugs, drug, okay. but very rarely we see mm -hmm. it. So generally, there are no life-threatening allergies as such. Mm -hmm. We have never seen anyone. Maximum is a diarrhea, which can happen. Okay. Uh, like uh, that too very rare nowadays it's mm -hmm. very rare it's yeah. very rare yeah. okay we discussed in a previous episode about the vaccination of puppies yeah. and the fact that they receive several uh, vaccines in their first year of life okay. uh, what about adult dogs how how many times do we vaccinate adult dogs adult dogs generally like it's once a year that is the combined vaccine so it generally covers like uh, diseases like uh, distemper, hepatitis, para-influenza, paroviral gastroenteritis, leptospirosis, rabies, all these are covered in that. So this is once a year. This is just to boost up the titer mm -hmm. so that the body doesn't forget. Okay. So just once a year would keep your health pe like healthy. So that would uh, uh, protect him for a year. And once a year for how long we should keep uh, it's vaccinated? Lifelong. It's lifelong. Lifelong. Yeah. Okay. 
And uh, just one last question. Are there any prerequisites before deworming or vaccinating our dogs? Yeah, especially like uh, before vaccination, the pet has to be in a very good health actually. Okay. That's very important very because vaccine as such is a stress mm -hmm. which can uh, lead to like, um, it can cause problems if you vaccinate. Mm -hmm. For example, like even, like even if you see the skin condition, okay. some skin conditions like uh, they are immune related. Okay. So the moment you vaccinate the dog, the immune system is challenged, they take upper hand and lead to all sorts of uh, like aggravation and uh, problems. Uh, best example would be a demodicosis. That's a skin condition in dogs which can cause uh, this sort of a problem. Okay, so it's so the moment, moment you vaccinate, next day you see the like dog starts uh -huh. losing hair and the whole lesion spread around. Oh, so okay. it can be very bad. So that generally vets are aware of it and they take care of it. So, but still, like uh, you can have keep like if you are uh, if your pet is like uh, infected with demodex or something, just want the pet, uh, like uh, vet or, uh, before uh, going for the vaccination so that he'll be careful. Like so, the pet yeah. parents should actually know that yeah. the yeah. he should, know he should have a checkup you know, of yeah. the of the pet. Yeah. 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 The pet should be in very yeah. healthy, healthy condition, condition a before a vaccination. Yes. Well. Okay, Dr. Shah, thank you so much for thank coming to, uh, today with us. Thank you. Thank you and uh, please stay tuned for a new episode of our uh, Pets video series.